In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the um, UE4 to Substance plugin. So, all I've done here is create a really basic kind of cube, really generic, automatic unwrap, and then importing that into Unreal. Now, I've ticked off generate lightmap UVs, and the only reason I've done this is because we're going to be using this as a movable asset. So, it's got nothing to do with the actual um, Substance plugin. It's just a for your reference, because we're doing everything as real-time lighting, we need everything set to movable. So you can see by default it brings in a Lambert 1 material um, and Substance is going to generate textures and apply it to that material. So the one thing we'll definitely want to do is make a new folder here and we'll just call this um, sub example and we'll drop our material and our model into there. And then what you should, what I want you to do is create individual folders for each of your assets. And the reason we do this, um, there's two reasons. The first one is so we don't have a folder just full of textures, um, models and materials. And the second reason is because sometimes Substance can get confused if you've got the same name material um, on the same object in the same folder. So it can end up recording over your textures with um, ones for your new model. So um, once you've done that, Oh, um, obviously another uh, thing we should also do is rename our materials, so maybe we should call this. So a common uh, naming convention I follow is just to put a um, mat after the material. So on our model, if we right click and go send to Substance Painter, your first message you're going to get is no valid FBX file was found, please disable the collision static mesh. So all you have to do on the FBX export is tick off collision so leave that ticked off. Once you've done it once it'll remember that but still it's something you should check every time. So if you just hit export and make sure you already have Painter open so it's not going to load Painter for you you'll see it brings the asset straight into our scene. Now as we've covered in previous classes we can just for a real kind of messy easy texturing is just use our low poly here just to generate our um, generate our normal map and so on for to, in order to use our generators so if we then just apply any old um, yeah that'll do yeah it's not a particularly nice one to be fair Let's put that on to know it works so we've got that in there like that and you can see straight away this will update in Unreal with the new textures. So it's very quick to update. You see it's generated our textures for us. And it also has output them in a nice patch format as well. So it's reasonably efficient. So we can also do things like if we just add a standard layer and paint on that. You'll see that will also just come straight into Unreal like so. And uh, that's pretty much the basis of it, to be fair. So uh, one thing you might, you'd also want to know is, can you use this again once um, you've closed everything down? So if we just do file, save, close this, and then come back to our model here, right click and go send to Substance Painter. Remember to load it first, of course. We'll give that a second to load. It should load this straight away with all of our previous um, layers on it. So right click, send the Substance Painter, browse into Painter and you can see not only do we have our previous kind of texture work, we also have all our layers as well. So it's a really nice quick way to work. 